The U.S. Endowment for Forestry and Communities was created in late 2006 as part of a trade settlement between the U.S. and Canadian governments over a long-running softwood lumber dispute. We were provided a one-time endowment and a broad mission to advance healthy working forests across America and family-supporting jobs in rural forest-reliant communities. We approached that mission with a great deal of energy and excitement because forests are so vital to our life. They provide clean water, fresh air, wildlife habitats and recreation opportunities, and a range of sustainable products to meet human needs. One of the first challenges facing our new board of directors was defining an operating context. What were those key drivers that would help set the contextual balance for our activities on the ground? We identified five broad drivers. First, globalization. The ability to ship product all around the world at a moment's notice brings with it great economic opportunity and threats. We're seeing increased forest health threats from exotic pests and diseases. The second driver is information technology. Can we harness the power of new technologies to better manage our forest and to address many of the threats that face them? Third is population shift and demographics. We're an aging society and more and more of our population are in urban areas. Removed from the forest and yet making decisions about how our forest should be used and managed. The fourth might be summed up simply as the end of cheap oil. We're an energy hungry and driven society. The price of energy products has a significant impact both on our environment and our economy. And finally, climate change. We're seeing climate shifts all around the globe. Whether or not we believe they're human induced or just part of the natural background, those climate changes have a huge impact on our forests how they grow, and how we manage them.